Welcome back to the NRB show that we're doing here live in Nashville 2013 here. And as you can tell, we have the best set. We have the NRB that always looks good. We don't have to bring one of those for one of the productions. <laughs> we have someone here that I, I just love his his heart, his ideas that he has, and what he's doing in creating the media. You know, I always give filmmakers the best time and the most time on my station. It just my heart is out for that kind of. I want to. I'm so into that because I know I'll be making those eventually with the, the way I'm going. But Mr. John Tweedy, how are you, sir? Pleasure to be here. And we've interviewed you last year. You did. And it was a great interview. But uh, this year we're going to do even a better interview. What you been up to? It's been a year. Well, uh, a year ago, I came to the NRB for the first time, kind of an exploration yeah. trip, and um, thinking about doing television. Okay. And a year later, we're on television in Canada and the United States. We've been adding U.S. That. stations over Amen. the last uh, couple of months. So how many stations are you on now? Um, well, I can tell you we're in Orlando, yeah. in Pittsburgh, in Atlanta, in Toledo, and down in Albuquerque, Santa Fe, New Mexico. So it's a growing list. Okay. And... Uh, the show's been on air in Canada since last July, and All it's right. doing extremely well. We're very encouraged. It's called Can the Prophetic Connection. Canada seems hungry. It, it I think everywhere's hungry for the Word of yeah, God. We've yeah. got so much other stuff, and, I mean, our show is called The Prophetic Connection. And it's right here. I can its full you. name is Israel, The Prophetic Connection. Okay. But it's really, it's what the Hebrew prophet said about, about the future. Uh, prophesied uh, events that would occur. So the show, the show is filmed entirely in Israel and whenever possible on location. So if I'm reading from a passage in the Bible, okay. I'm standing in the location where the events occur or will occur. Wow. And that really gives the show its, its punch. It, it gives a punch there. That's, that's production value. <laughs> oh, listen. And God's words is, is timeless. Wow. Okay? Yeah, the, it is. It is. The, the prophecies of the Bible are tomorrow's headlines. And that's yes. the whole emphasis of the show. Well, now, when you're reading that scripture and you're in the motherland of Israel there, the where the scriptures are, are derived from, how do you feel when you actually, you're, the, you're, the, you're reading it there? And then I, as soon as I look at the camera and I have my Bible in my hand and I'm standing with a biblical surrounding, uh -huh. something switches on inside mm. of me. It's like That's awesome. a light comes on and I start to, I just, because I know I have something that God has given the mm -hmm. world. It's, it's a message to the nations and it's for now. And it was for 100 years ago, and it's for 100 years from now. So I know that I'm standing in the moment mm -hmm. with the Word of God, and the Bible promises that God's Word never returns void. It always accomplishes the purpose for which He intends it. Now, for those that don't know you, don't know your background, give them a little bit about background and how you got into media. Um, almost by default, um, I've been a pastor for more than 30 years, ordained minister, um, and have served in that role for all these years. But a few years ago, we, um, I produced a teaching series about Israel. Okay. And that's sort of the start of it. And that was designed for churches, for small groups. Um, but it did well. And so we ended up doing, my creative team said, you know what, we should do a DVD series on the history of Israel. So we did a six-unit documentary series covering... 4,000 years of is Israel's history. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> it's a, it's a, lot. a lot. And from Abraham to Armageddon, basically. And so try to do that in less than six hours of television. How many DVDs were that? Six. Wow. Six, six um, one-hour units, or one hour of television time. Anyway, we produced this series, and it kind of circulated a little bit. Okay. And the next thing, TBN, Trinity Broadcast Network, were in touch with us. How can we buy it? They bought it. Awesome. Five years ago, they started airing it, and it's still on air. Wow. Then we did a sequel, um, and it won on air three years ago this coming May, or two months. So as far as I know, I checked the schedule a month ago with TBN. The first series is on Monday nights. The second series is on Friday nights, five and three years almost later. So that's... Those are the documentary series. The yes. first is Israel, A Journey Through Time. Okay. The second is Israel, A Journey of Light. And the second one really looks at the promise God made to Abraham when he said, I'm going to make of you a great nation. Of course, he's, he was the first Hebrew, the first Jew, yeah. the father of Israel. And the nation that comes from you is going to bless all nations. Amen. So our second series says, how did God's promise, how was God, God's promise fulfilled? How has Israel been a blessing to the nations? Mm. We, we ask the question, we offer the answer. Technology, uh, science, medicine, um, morality, the Ten Commandments, the uh, Torah, the first five books of the Bible. Um, and we look at it, and many people are not aware, 
the chip for the cell phone was developed in Israel. Mm. Instant messaging was developed by four <laughs> young Israelis. Wow. And we get up in the morning and we brush our teeth and we check our emails. We're not aware how much Israeli innovation and, and invention has influenced our daily lives. Wow. And, it's amazing. And, and it's ongoing. I mean, yeah. there are people whose lives have been extended because of Israeli, is medicines Israelis have discovered. Uh, even when they go to the dentist, they, they won't be aware that Novocaine was developed by a Jewish researcher called Do Dr. Jonas Salk. Wow. And, I mean, so it's, and that's a fulfillment of God's promise to Abraham. Amen. The nations will be blessed through your descendants. So how you, how you treat Israel is how you're going to be treated. Well, that's, that's <laughs> part of that, Genesis 12, uh, 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 verse 3. Now, out of, after the two DVD series, my creative team, they're always on the edge. They're sort of more innovative than I am. Okay, you need so they, people like that. Well, you do. yeah, they came to me and they said, you know what? Uh, we were doing a um, five to seven minute uh, commentary, the prophetic connection for our website. Okay. That's all it was. My creative team said, you know what? We can develop this into a half hour television episode and we can produce more episodes and now a year later we have the prophetic connection which is 13 episodes in each season uh, on television in uh, Canada and the United States. And these doors just start opening as you were and faithful. See that's the key. Let God open the doors. Amen. You know, you know I remember because when I, I met you last year at the NRB um, and I asked you what were we going to do with it if you wanted us to, to broadcast it for you on our IPTV you're like David hold off on that because I just don't know what God is doing. And I respected that. Like, sure, I understand that. Yeah. And I could tell at that time, you, you were letting God create this for you. You were letting yeah. God open that door for you. And I was like, amen. Most people, they make a DVD. They call, they call me, David, can you air this for me? Yeah. Can you give me a time slot? And they want, you know, they're pushing it forward. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's fine. Yeah. But there's something about when God opens that door. Yeah, I had a conversation this morning with reps from Australia Christian Television. And they had the same heart. They said, you know, if God opens the door, and I said, I'm not pushing to be on Australian Christian television, but I'm very much concerned about the message we have reaching the people of Australia okay. and blessing them. So we agreed that if it's God's will, God will provide a way. Now, what's different this year is when I came last year, um, we met Infinity Concepts. Okay. Um, and they're, you know, they're here, they're here this year, and they now represent us in Canada and the United States. So we're very much about opening doors yes. for the show, but the motivation, and because we're a charity, so it's not about making money, except to be, to be able to reproduce more of the same. Yes. So now we're looking, we're knocking on doors that will open, and so maybe the, our conversation this year is much more timely than last year. Yes. And we can say to you, okay, how can we work together to get the message out to the nations? Absolutely, so absolutely. that's, you know, it's very timely. Now, did, did you wake up and decide, I want to do something on Israel. Why Israel? Israel, as I said, I've been a pastor for more than 30 years, but something happened to me. Um, I was born again um, of the spirit of, of the, the living God. And I can only explain it this way. Um, I got a double calling. I got a calling to the church. But this awareness that God was not finished with Israel, that the whole Bible is the story of Israel. And we, when we talk about this series, we talk about Israel past, present, and prophetic. And so I realized that, that Israel was very much part of the past, the present, and the future. And God put in my heart a passion, which other people see. I mean, I, they just recognize it. And I gained a reputation as a pastor with a passion for Israel. Mm. And one thing led to another. Okay. I never, in my wildest dreams, uh, thought I'd ever have a television show or that I'd ever produce a documentary <laughs> series. In fact, the, do the two documentary series have been endorsed by Pat Boone, who's of an earlier generation, but very much a respected Christian leader. Oh, absolutely. He gave, absolutely. Us, a, he gave us an incredible endorsement for each of the series. Okay. Um, in fact, the first series, he said he and his wife sat down to watch the first unit and watched all six in one sitting. <laughs> they, couldn't, they couldn't stop hey, watching Yeah, that's what you do series. when you find a show that you love. You oh, want to you get to the end. Yeah, and he said of the second <laughs> series, good. he said, no tour guide, and he's been to Israel numerous times, he said, no, no tour guide I've ever had can provide the detail and the, the, um, the imagery, uh, the visual imagery of, the, of this series, filmed entirely in Israel, mm -hmm. as the prophetic connection is. God willing, I'll be back there this summer twice, uh, in the beginning of June, the beginning of September, to film 13 episodes each trip. Wow. So we're just going to keep these episodes coming, and it's always the prophetic theme. Amen. What does God, what is God's word 
for the nations today, mm. 2013. What what does the future look like from the perspective of the Holy Scriptures? That's that's what we do. I just want to say before we close, it's amazing what God can do with someone that's disobedient. Yeah. To do what. He told, you didn't know where you're going to broadcast it. You made it. No idea. You, you didn't go and figure out what the budget's going to do to get it where it needed to go. But you, you had to, you wanted to get it done. God yeah. provo- provided for you to get it done. And then you, has He provided for you to get it done? He also provided how to distribute. I remember when I seen you. Really, yeah. it, last year you're 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 like you're you're searching in spirit what yeah. to do because you want a divine connection. And it's good to see the fruit of a year. Yeah. It's good to see the fruit. And a year from now, when I sit down with you, God willing. We'll be saying, wow, we never thought that was going to happen. Amen. I received that. I believe that for you too. Amen. Yeah. Thank you so much for being on the Pleasure. show. God bless you. Always you a pleasure. You have a great, great time. Thank you. God bless, God bless you. you.